Now, one thing you need to know about OFA is it's a semi-open database, so that if you don't approve um, release of abnormal information, it's not reported, or if the um, hips were not done, but other tests were done on that dog, it has a record that shows that there's another sibling, but that it doesn't have a hip result. So essentially what I say is, if you've got a missing number there, consider it's probably abnormal. All right, because what? Why else would it be in there? Zero offspring. So it's important for you to authorize the release of abnormal results on your dogs, um, because people, especially if you're breeding your dogs, I mean, if you've got an abnormal result and it's not up on the OFA website, what are people supposed to do? You bred your dog. You know, I just tell people, you know, you got to consider the dysplastic, and I'd rather see a mildly dysplastic and use it for breeding to something that's good or excellent than not see anything at all and say, well, it could have been moderate or even severely affected. Um, there are 1,044 French Bulldogs have achieved chick certification. I did a chick breed ratio based on the years 200, 2015 to 2017, and your breed ratio was 0%, which meant that um, less than, that close to 0% of the, of the um, red dogs, of the French Bulldogs, had chick certification. Okay, and that's just based on the numbers and based on if this was even when you were number four. <laughs> okay.